Okay, so here's one of my racks. I own two of these Galleon Kruger 2000 CPLs. My second one is currently over with Glenn Fricker at Spectre Sound Studios, and he's gonna be making a video on it. And I should be getting that back, I think, this year. There's the loft that we saw in my other video. So for one of my guitar racks, I'm working on a replica of Alex Lifeson's rack from the A Show of Hands era. Now, at the top, that would start with two uh, TC2290s. I do not have one of those yet. So for now, I've got a G-Force there and two D1500s. We've got the SPX90, Roland DEP5, two 1210s. Um, this is where we would have two Galleon Krugers. Again, my other one is not with me at the moment. Um, I have a Loft 440 in place of a Roland Dimension D for now. Two rain mixers and I'm using an FX gizmo for a lot of my switching. And the only inaccurate thing that's gonna probably stay in this rack is the rack wah, because that is just too handy. I've got another Galleon Kruger uh, 250 RL sitting there right now just as a placeholder for what will eventually be a Dimension D. Now as far as the power amp, in this era, Alex Lifeson went through quite a few different power amps, including a Mesa Boogie Strategy 400, and a Bryston 3B, I think, and a Crown Macrotech. Uh, I believe it was Macrotech 3000, I don't remember. Now, ultimately, Alex Lifeson favored the Crown solid state power amp. I almost bought the correct Crown amp, um, but I realized it just wasn't practical. I've heard that they're insanely heavy and it's only two channels and for the setup I'm doing I need at least four channels. Honestly I kind of need eight channels. So I figured I'd save space and weight by just grabbing this Behringer. Now once again there's the Loft 440 chorus delay flanger unit that we saw in my other video. Alex Lifeson used the Loft 440 on moving pictures. It's known as the Limelight Chorus. Uh, it's on the solo and later in the Grace Under Pressure and Power Windows tour, Alex Lifeson had two Loft 450s in his rack. The 450s were similar. They had some upgrades. From what I've heard, people prefer the sound of the Loft 440, but the 450 has the added benefit of input and output level controls and balanced and unbalanced outputs in the back because the 440 only has XLR connections. Alex Lifeson actually brought the Loft 440 back out on the road on the Snakes and Arrows tour until it apparently blew up. So this is a work in progress. It's getting there. I've been working on it for years. A uh, detailed explanation of this rack will be for another video. I've also been working on a rack that kind of sums up permanent waves to Grace Under Pressure. I kind of have a little bit of everything from those eras. I'm using a vintage Marshall 4140 club and country combo like Alex used. He used four of them for the longest time. And I've also got a high watt stack. That rack includes some pedals as well as some other stuff. 